Hey now, what's up guys, Meal Problem Training. As you saw the clip earlier, with my mediocre golf skills, I really need to golf more. But, yeah, it was Father's Day, so taking my dad out to brunch. Of course, we had to go to Dame's Chicken Waffles, which is slowly becoming probably my favorite place to eat. <laughs> I mean, chicken and waffles are like up there with donuts for me right now. If you have any chicken and waffle places near where you live, go ASAP. If you don't, I guess you could go to KFC and go to IHOP, get some fried chicken, some waffles, and line them, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be as good, but give it a shot. So moving on to the workout footage, I did this, I mean, this is day one and two of week three of the GTV program. I'm doing 315 for four sets of eight, and this is really surprising because this is the fastest I've ever moved for 315. My squats have really improved since I moved my stance in and squatted lower. I was only supposed to go up by five pounds, but I was still feeling pretty good, so I went up by 10. Sorry, sorry girl sweats. But uh, <clears throat> that's the topic of this video is that progress doesn't always had to be a one rep max or a PR. It could be whether or not you're squatting faster like I did here. Like when I usually do 315, it's usually really slow. So for me to be moving 315 this fast really feels good. In fact, I actually did dine on the set instead of eight because I can't count. <laughs> My ability to count past five has really been hurting me, so gotta practice on counting past five. So yeah, like, progress, getting stronger doesn't always have to be adding weight to your one rep max. It can be a speed, whether you're moving the bar faster, whether you're doing more reps, whether you're finishing the workout faster. Like, if you normally take an hour to squat and you take 45 minutes to squat instead, that also means progress. Progress could also mean doing beltless work. For an example, if you normally do 405 for deadlifts with a belt, and you do it without a belt, obviously, then that obviously means you're improving your core strength as well as just getting faster off the floor. So don't always look at progress as a, am I maxing out every week? Am I just adding weight to my total? doesn't always have to be like that. That's why you should do these volume blocks. Like, I'm doing a four week volume block and it's, it's, it's pretty unmotivating to not hit any PRs or go for one rep max, but it does feel good to move weights faster, to do more reps. Like for example, this was 325, which is a rep PR of, for me on bench, so this also felt good as well. So at the end of the day, it's not always about how much weight you're moving, it can also be about how fast you move it, how fatigued you are, how fast you can recover, stuff like that. That also can show signs of you improving. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And oh yeah, we just hit 2,000 subs which is insane for us, can't thank you guys enough. We're doing a Q&A. I asked some questions on Instagram, but you can also leave some Q&A questions in the comments. We'll be sure to answer them. Um, ask any questions for me, Zal, or Owen. So yeah, but as always, love to have you track your macros and those fuck back.